Okay. So this is my culinary vlog. Um, it's just to do a blog, but obviously I want to take a different approach to this assignment. I think vlogging is probably a little bit more entertaining than just reading the information and seeing pictures. Anything that I can't include in the vlog, like citations about people I'm going to quote, or any pictures that I do have to include uh, for any of the questions, I will actually include underneath and I'll cite those. But I think it's better for me to just talk and kind of uh, give you a background about why I want to do what I want to do. So firstly, I'm Nandi as a QA, and I'm in Chef Adam Foley's Theory of Food class. Um, a current picture of myself is obviously this, um, and I'll include probably another picture of me actually cooking or some food I have cooked on, uh, uh, on the page when I submit the assignment. Um, I'd say that my culinary philosophy is to kind of be adventurous, to be willing to try new things, to be willing to experiment and um, just love what you do. I really love cooking. It's something I fell in love with pretty early, um, being exposed to it from my mom. Um, and then obviously like being more exposed to it in school um, because uh, my high school actually had a culinary class when I was exposed uh, to it in that, in that regard. It was something that I fell in love with even more, something that I never really thought of as a career at that point. Um, but it was something that really interested me. I was intrigued by the possibilities that you could accomplish um, when I went to school, because this is actually my second, um, second time going to school. My first time, it had nothing to do with school. And uh, sorry, my school had nothing to do with cooking. And so I, um, I would only be able to do this really in my free time. It wasn't something I was doing professionally. It was just something that I actually had to build the motivation and drive for it. It was something that uh, was very easy for me to do. It was something I loved to do. And so I would do that on my free time in between assignments. I'd be cooking things for my roommates, for my friends. And that's when I think I really, really established that love for it. And it just grew from there. It became something I would always be doing as a way, as a calming mechanism. Um, I feel like anything you do for a career, anything that you want to dedicate that much of your life to, and it's also part of my philosophy, it should be something you love. Um, and I, I just love to cook. I love to be around food. I love to see the way food is made, the different techniques. Even when it comes to like the more, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Redundant aspects of cooking, such as chopping or the different types where it comes to a paisan, a julienne that we're learning in the culinary foundations class. I find that entertaining. I find that interesting. I find it something that I want to practice on my own time. Um, so that ties into question three as to why I want to be a chef. It's just something I developed a really strong love and passion for, but I also want to be able to bring things that people may not have the ability to try they may not have been ex ex uh, exposed to yet i want to bring it to them in a way that is not always represented um i have ideas for where i want to go in terms of building my own restaurant and building my own business and i want to make sure that when i do that um i'm bringing something new and different something unique to it and it's i feel like cooking is always an expression of yourself and i want to express myself in a way that people find so necessary. Everybody eats, it's something that humans can avoid doing. So obviously it's something that you want to do well. You want to enjoy the food you're eating. And I think the best way to enjoy the food you're eating is by having things that you haven't experienced yet and having things that taste delicious, that look delicious. Um, there's that quote that people eat with their eyes first. You, know, you see something and most people see something and it looks unappetizing, they don't want to eat it. So. Again, going to my philosophy, I want to take things that people don't necessarily know and make it look beautiful and be able to present it in a way that looks fantastic and they want to eat it. Um, am I working in, in the industry? I am not currently working in the industry. It's something that I obviously plan to do in the future. And it's something that I have been semi exposed to in the past. I have worked in um, wedding halls and obviously um, there's a whole bunch of chefs running around in the kitchen over there. So passing through there, I was able to see and view and um, gain that desire uh, more so to be a chef, watching them at work. But I have, I don't have any actual hands-on experience and I'm obviously looking forward to getting that. Um, so again, talks about my personal philosophy. Um, uh, a per I wouldn't say it's a necessary uh, personal philosophy, but I can actually touch on my culinary personality. So 
I like to think I'm somewhat introverted. I think when it comes to food, I'm a little bit more extroverted. It's something that like really pulls me out of my shell. It's something that, as you can see, I obviously like to I prefer to do more video vlogging type things. It's something I want to bring to the world in terms of YouTube or in some way to express it. And so that's another culinary practice that I'm actually passionate about is um, a way to bring what I love to do out to the world. And so it kind of pulls me out of my shell. And I think that that's very good when you love something so much that it kind of pulls you out of your comfort zone. I think that um, that can really open up new possibilities for you. Um, from my vlogging experience, I hope to gain, um, obviously I think that as much as it is a skill um, being a chef, um, culinary skills, like obviously you have to grow them, develop them, develop them practice them. It is also about networking. It's also about who you know and um, how you connect with the people, who you work with and all those things. So this blog, I think, posting this where I know that um, my peers can see it, my profs can see it, I think it's a good way for me to network and show the love, the passion for you, for people to get to know me and see what I'm about, um, especially during COVID when I'm not in class with other people. I think this blog is a great way to do that. Um, also, when I'm posting pictures of my food or me cooking, like being open to criticism and being able to have somebody's like, oh, this looks really good, but like when I did it, I did this, or have, did you try doing this? Or like, if I post that there was some sort of issue in the recipe that I followed, being like, oh, like maybe it was in um in this case, like where you where there was a misstep. And I think that that's really important, being able to take that criticism and learn. Um, a culinary quote. So I have this one open, and it's actually not from. It's not from a chef. It's from um my favorite book of all time um, is um, From the Prophet by Khalil Gibran. I'm going to write the quote um, underneath the video when I, when I post and um, I'm going to cite it. And it says, um, but since you must kill to eat and rob the newly born of its mother's milk to quench your thirst, let it be an act of worship. And so what I take from that quote is that as we, I take of it as like we take from the earth, we take from everything in order to sustain us. And if we're going to do that, we might as well do it the best way that we can. We might as well make it an act of, it says an act of worship. I think of an act of beauty. Um, we should take those skills and transfer them to make the presentation look fantastic, the flavors fantastic. If we're going to take from this beautiful earth that we have, I think that um, doing so, we should obviously come with the best product that we can possibly make. And so I'm going to quote that in um, in in the below because I, I think that that is though it's not necessarily a quote from a culinary expert, I apply it to my cul culinary philosophy. Um, for the other parts, um, there is a reference to a great culinary blog. So I've I've actually haven't had much experience looking at culinary blogs. So for the purpose of this assignment. I was looking up a blog and one that caught my eye was called Smitten Kitchen. And um, looking through it, honestly, with the aesthetic of it, it is kind of minimalistic. It is not, it doesn't like necessarily pop out in terms of color or um, exactly like what's posted, but the recipes look fun. They look delicious. They look well presented. Um, as I was doing research, it kept popping up and it was, it, when I clicked on it, it was something that would be, I think, similar to how I would post a blog. I wouldn't necessarily want to be necessarily um, flamboyant or extravagant in the way I post my blog. I'd like to really pay, make the attention and the focus go to the food. Um, obviously, the purpose of a culinary blog is to show the food, but I like the minimalistic approach that, um, that the author has taken. And so that is essentially my first culinary vlog. Um, there's obviously going to be more information included. Um, my original picture and a, a picture from the internet with citation will be included as well because I can't include that in the vlog. But I think that this, would, this was the best way to kind of get my face and my philosophies and my personality out there. And I look forward to posting again.